I will start my speech now. On our side of the house, we believe that this is a debate on whether how plea bargains will affect the defendant's future and behavior. So it's about which side will benefit the defendant and the judicial system as a whole. First of all, by benefiting, we mean that this will ensure fairness to all victims and defendants. And secondly, more trust within the judiciary system. So first of all, coming to the responses of OO. OO Main's case is all about how this plea bargain will enhance public safety and that this will prevent future crimes. However, we believe this is totally wrong because this will in turn create a mindset for defendant is that if I have a crime, then like, I don't need to worry because if I just plea bargain, then I will somehow get a lighter deterrent. And we believe that this is not good because somehow the fact that they're being forced to plead guilty means that this is not their intention to do so, but because of the attractiveness of the letter deterrence so that they actually do it. And however, we believe, like moreover, we believe that this does not create more trust in the judicial system. And I'll explain more in the argument below. So what has PM from our side proved to you? First of all, on our side, we prove to you how banning this will ensure fairness and accountability, and it will even strengthen better deterrence because, especially those guilty of serious crimes, and they get to receive lighter sentences just because they plead guilty. And we believe that this is something that is really harmful for victims that is affected by those serious crimes of those defendants. And we believe that we're the only side who take this issue seriously and bring more trust and fairness to the victims themselves. And for OO, they just completely do not provide any frameworks, any policy at all, and just keep saying they and just keep saying that this will enhance public safety or will provide key information or prevent future crimes. Because we believe that future crimes will be a big problem on their side of the house because those defendants, they think that they can just get away with anything by just pleading guilty and then get a lighter deterrence. And this will never prevent future crimes. So let's come to the most important part, which is our own argument. Because we believe that in this case, there are two types. First of all, defendants who actually did the crime and innocent people. So in our argument, we believe that this will reduce by banning plea bargain, this will reduce the risk of innocent defendants pleading guilty. The premise here is that many defendants, especially those with fewer resources or inadequate legal representation, like may, maybe they don't have a lawyer or any kinds of representation, may feel pressure to accept a plea deal even if they are innocent and fearing a harsher sentence if they go to trial and are found guilty. The mechanism here is that in cases where evidence might be like might be too big for those individuals, and especially we believe that those individuals lack the resources for a strong defense, then a plea bargain might be an ideal solution to them. So this can easily lead to innocent people to plead guilty to crimes that they didn't even commit in the first place. And this can happen a lot to OO if they don't think about this problem. And we believe that by banning plea bargains, this will create a system that will make sure that trials are actually fair and reduce wrongful conviction that are just driven by fear and a lack of resources for those innocent individuals. What are the impacts? First of all, and the most important impact in this debate that it's only achievable in our type of house is that this will ensure fairness because fairness is the number, number one priority when it comes to a court case, right? However, the other side might just say that, oh, this will save a lot of time for bigger trials. We believe that this is not important because fairness is always the first priority. So however much time it takes, we believe that fairness is still important. And secondly, it will encourage better resource and more efficient judicial systems, protected time. And finally, we believe that this will create trust within the public because the public, they will believe that the, like, the judicial system is really fair and it will just create trust within them. And finally, the most important thing is that it will protect the rights of victims and ensure that their voices are actually being heard, not just giving letter sentences to those that just say that I plead guilty in the first place. And finally, for especially discriminatory and 
like innocent people, we believe that those innocent people are mostly for a marginalized population or vulnerable people who lack resources. So on our side, we are able to protect them better than just by banning play bargain. Very proud to propose.